Oh, he gets some of that. Come here. Sweet dirt bike. Yeah. Wait, did you get the dirt bike? Amazon. From Amazon. Okay. <laughs> the new Where everything comes from. The new Santa. That's exactly, exactly <laughs> what it is. What you got? How are you feeling physically? Because you kind of keep ramping up here. I feel amazing. Yeah. Uh, I never felt better, to be honest. Uh, just happy to be out here with the guys, running around, having fun. I love the training camp. And it's, uh, it's a blessing, man. It's cool. it's cool to be here. Obviously, one of the biggest changes, we talked about it a couple weeks ago with Sean. I mean, what's it been like? Just do you see a different energy in him now? I mean, so in front of the people. Um, I guess I'm always in the energy in him, uh, I guess as the head coach. But him popping in the defensive meeting more, obviously, it's, it's cool to see. Uh, you know, Sean's always been aggressive. You can see that he's a former wrestler. Everybody knows that. Uh, he has that wrestling mentality, and so, you know, when he's in the defensive, defensive meeting room and he's um, talking to us, you can tell he wants to be aggressive, and so it's, it's cool to see. And now we're trying to get an understanding of how he's calling stuff. And how much different is that, like, as you go through on the field, actual execution, um, how many differences are there that you notice? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think there's many differences right now. Um, obviously, the playbook is a playbook. We've, we've had this playbook for, for years since we've gotten here, but... Uh, just what? Just talk on it. Just talk on it? Okay. Um, but, but uh, you know, just the way uh, Sean calls plays is just, you know, you got to get, get used to. So, um, as of right now, you know, not a huge difference. But, you know, sometimes situational football calls may be different from pass, and we're just trying to get a trying to get a clue on um, what we might be might be doing. So okay, so approach, you, can, you get, I'm oh, sorry, John. You get a, a sense of the aggressiveness in his approach. But for, in terms of a learning curve, there really isn't much of one. Because so much really no, no, I, you know, to be honest with you guys, I've, we've been in this defense this whole time, and we've made so many adjustments throughout the years uh, within within each call. You want to stand up? That uh, that you know, it's um, I've kind of gotten wrapped up in all the all the other uh, adjustments, and so to me, it's trying to get back to the basis of training camp football, and not you know week eleven of us game planning for a team you know years ago. So uh, that's my biggest adjustment. And, and but as far as the plays goes. It's, it's not much of a, of, of a difference. When you think back you know, when you were going under the night, and, and maybe just thoughts about your career and where it might be, could you envision this day right here with your two kids here at your 11th camp? No, no. You know, when it, when it first happened, and, you know, my coach would be the first one to tell you, uh, my teammates would be the first one to tell you, I didn't know what, I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. I thought I was done. I, mean, I think I told you guys that before. So to be in this situation right now and, you know, having – Having my babies here, having my wife here, um, it, you know, can't even put into words how, how amazing it is. And, um, I'm just a, I'm a proud dad, I'm a proud husband, um, and I wouldn't change uh, wouldn't change shoes with anybody in the world because I love where I'm at in my life and couldn't be better. Mentally, Pat's coming on in a couple of days. Yeah. The contact. I can't wait. I can't wait. I had a conversation with Dr. Watkins a couple of days ago. Just the, the reassurance as to, you know, that you're, it's, it's way better than what it was before. And you guys got to be honest. Um, then you have a big old head. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big old head? <laughs> um, I got to be honest. In years past, it was a struggle, man. Like, like getting in out of bed of just, of just like, having, you know, neck soreness and all that type of stuff. So um, I'm just happy that it's not going to be as, as bad as it was. And no trepidation, or, or you're, you're ready? I'm ready. You, come, on, like, come on, how long have you been watching me play? I know. Okay. I'm ready to go, man. Well, no, that's a thing. Like, like if you were ready, had you advanced to the AFC Championship exactly. game, you would have been, so I'm assuming you tested it at a, from a yeah. context standpoint at a pretty high level. So there's no real threshold for you to get over when the pads go on. Out. Exactly, exactly. I was ready, you know, months ago. Um, I, it probably worked out for the best. I had my full recovery and was able to, um, sit out a couple more months and not have to be banging and wearing and tear on my body and all that. So um, it's fully healed, and I have no doubt in my mind that when the pads get on, I'll be ready to go and start hitting. I'm not thinking about how is my neck's going to hold up and all that type of stuff. I'm, I'm cool. Mike, I know you guys worked together back at Orchard Park, so it's not like it's completely blindsiding you or anything. But is it a little bit surreal still to be here with Jordan again after not knowing if that was ultimately going to play out? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's truly awesome um, to have – Pope come back, you know, the, throughout the whole, his whole contract situation, you know, he was letting me know what was going on, and, you know, 
calling me up, giving me whole details and stuff, because we really didn't know what was uh, what was going to be going on. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's awesome to have Poe back, and, you know, we see the same things every single day on the field, off the field. So uh, it's just uh, it's a blessing to have him back also, because I know I play my, uh, my best game when he's healthy. Like a step said that he understands that he has more football behind him than in front of him at this point in his career. You kind of say, too, where, where you are in your career. Do you approach training camp differently because of where you are? Yeah, young guy, the young guys probably think at times I'm, like, kind of psycho because I, it's just you just have... You just have you just have more urgency, you know. As you get older, you have more urgency because you understand that you know those those years have passed, and you don't have times to just give away games or give away playoff games and come up short. So um, it's just a lot more urgency. Like I said, some of the young guys probably think like, "Wow, this dude's 32 and he's still coming to work. He's a little crazy in the head because he's just you know it's just go 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 go." Because that's just the mentality you gotta have. Is that a conversation that you had, or, or is that something that you and Diggs or Foyer like knowing where you guys are in your career? Is that a conversation that? You guys have or it's, just it just it's just known. It's just known. I think throughout the years, listening to guys like Kyle Williams speak, um, Lorenzo Alexander, which was here today, some of the older guys that just kind of paved the way for us um, and as this team and for this organization, you know, just listening to them talk, it's kind of the same thing. It's just something you know. And usually, you know, throughout the, throughout the season, towards the end of the season, maybe one guy um, will, will say a few things. Uh, but I think the older guys understand that it's got to get it. Got to get it now, and um, there's not too many opportunities left. Josh is discussed that in public business. He's aware of it, especially for this group of guys who have been together for so long, knowing that time is running short in some ways. How much do you appreciate that? I love Josh. I love I, I love him. You know everything that he uh, brings to the table, bring the, brings this organization. He's a perfect guy for this organization, for this team. Um, he's you know he's a leader. Um, He's a leader. He, he uh, just you know wants to go out there and compete every day. So him understanding that, and he's you know Josh is gonna play for another who knows 15 years uh, hopefully. So um, he you know for him to be saying that, understand the urgency of the older guys. That's a, that's a wise move, wise move on his part. Just understanding the game, understanding you know being being older than what he really is. So um, yeah, I love to hear you know QB one saying that for sure. It looks the same to us seeing you out there running around. What is not being in a live game, you know, almost you know, here it'll be. Like, are you worried at all about just like triggering and recognizing, or is it? You think it's just gonna happen? It's, it's just gonna happen, baby. It's just gonna happen. Uh, I would tell you this: the first live game we're back Monday night. I'm going to be geeked, so I might have to settle, just calm down a little bit because I know that that you know, as soon as you step back on the field and we get going, I'm gonna um, be maybe a little bit too excited. So. Uh, yeah, I have uh, no doubt in my mind that when, once we get back out there, it's back to football. I, I feel like I've played plenty of snaps in the past to, to be able to recognize what's going on. You know, coming here even for, for training camp, um, you know, my mentality of the playbook is there. Um, understanding what I got to do with my feet, my eyes is there. Obviously, it's a little rust every year just knocking that stuff off. But uh, within, a, within a couple of days, I feel like it's time to just uh, kind of put all that rust behind you and go out there and play fast. As, as you had to watch games last year, did it make it worse knowing how much that defensive missed your experience out there? I mean, other guys can come play, but they really missed your experience. Did that almost make it worse having to watch that? Uh, it was tough. It was uh, it was very tough because you know you you put in all the hours of film work together, you put in all that stuff, and I was still doing that. But at the same time, you can't be on the field. We on the field. You know, you, you, we've had our core guys around here for some time now with Poe and I, uh, Lano, uh, Tredavious, Taryn. And, you know, watching film, I was able to, you know, kind of help them out a little bit of what I see. And obviously Poe is, is doing his best out there trying to get things organized and get everybody lined up. But at the same time, it's, it's, it was tough to see that, you know, I'm not saying Poe had to do it by himself because that's not the case. You know, we had other guys out there helping. And um, you know, trying to make a name for themselves, but it's just that that core, that nucleus that we've had around here for a long time is was kind of broken a little bit. Getting Trey back, you know, Thanksgiving Day. So um, yeah, it, long story short, it was very tough. It was tough to watch. It was tough how the you know throughout all the stuff that happened last season and then the way the season ended. Um, but it's given us all a little little extra motivation because you know we understand that um, it could be gone like that.
you never know when it's our last snap together. So we're putting in the time in the meetings. We're hanging out. You know, those those core guys I'm, that I'm talking about, what guys are in special teams, we're hanging out. We're making fun of Taryn. We're talking about Taryn's style. We're, we're doing all type of stuff, just laughing, having fun. Um, and uh, I think that's what's going to you know, continue to take it to the next level. Fierce competition going on at the cornerback position. What's been your perspective on that battle through just a couple days of camp? Has anybody stood out to you, three young guys fighting for the job? Love to see it. Love to see it. Three guys that are really making a name for themselves. Um, and you know, I've, been in that, I've been in that position before you know, in the past of having to compete for your job. And, and, uh, and still competing for my job, but it, it, I guess being a young guy and doing it, um, you it kind of brings the best out of you. You know, it, it's tough every single day because you're not getting as many reps as, as you like. But um, as you can see, those guys are going out there and making plays. So it's the best, you know, best thing you ask for. And um, you know, I'm excited to see you know who breaks through on that. But I know who you know who doesn't start is going to still be working their ass off to try to try to get out there and play. So um, just three guys that are that are really competing and making the best of the situation. What are you seeing from the, what are you seeing from the offense as you're kind of getting them? What are you seeing from like Josh as he's kind of like these new targets? Uh, you know, Doris, has, Doris in the past has obviously been able to draw some things up. He motions a lot. He does all that type of stuff. So, um, you know, you really got to be on your P's and Q's, understanding the defense and knowing, you know, what defense you're in, getting everybody lined up and all that. And then on top of that, he has the weapons, you know, with the receivers and, you know, bringing in somebody like Kincaid and, you know, he's he's all around um, doing stuff. So uh, it's cool to see, man. I'm excited for that offense. And, you know, we're making them better. They're making us better. And you know, that's how we're going to get to the next level. Cool, cool. Thank you.